Just months ago, floodwaters raged at the Sestak slab, but this newer version of the bridge on County Road 521 leaves lingering problems to nearby residents. George Lubering owns farmland around the river and says the bridge doesn't allow debris to flow freely through, causing it to accumulate and divert the water to his land. It's hard enough to make payments on this farm the way it is, you know, when you keep losing more and more dirt and losing more ground. It's hard enough the way it is and it makes it even harder. The bridge before 2011 was shorter, allowing water and debris to flow over the top during flooding. Lubering said with each flood he loses around eight inches of soil. MoDOT Central District Engineer David Sylvester says they researched different possible structures before deciding on the one that ultimately stands today. We did do a hydraulic analysis to try to figure out where, you know, what amounts of water would go and how it would work with this bridge. The debris is this one has been what's the biggest concern now. MoDOT constructed the bridge for wildlife mitigation credits. A Department of Conservation study concluded that the Nyangwa darter fish is threatened in the area and a new bridge would help the species. Mary's Valley landowner Norb Plassmeyer has expressed concern over the survey that declared the species threatened in the first place. As I looked at the study, I concluded personally that uh, they drew conclusions on the basis of very thin data. Doug Novinger from the Department of Conservation says they spent years gathering data. There hasn't been a significant increase in the amount of darters, but Novinger says the environment is now better suited for them. When we do monitor our changes in habitat that occurred, and since the bridge crossing has been replaced, we've seen some positive things happening to the habitat that occurs upstream of the bridge. And for now, debris remains at the Sestak slab, leaving residents worried about the next big rainfall. Juliet Dreyer, KRCG 13 News, Osage County.